It's a light heavyweight showdown in Las Vegas. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC Vegas 50 between Tiago Santos and Magomed Ankalaev. Santos, who's coming off a rather slow-paced victory over a main event Johnny Walker last year, will be looking to reassert himself as a title contender in the division. But standing in his way this Saturday is Ankalaev, who has reeled off seven straight wins since his lone career loss that came in his UFC debut to the well-respected Paul Craig. At the time of this video, the odds makers and public are siding with Ankalaev in the neighborhood of minus 550 with the comeback on your underdog, Santos, in the neighborhood of plus 370 via Typico Sportsbook. Now, in defense of the odds setters, this line did open much tighter, but public interest and money has come to back Ankalaev, who is the fighter that I too uh, am picking here to win. However, this fight can kind of go down in one of two ways in my mind. Either we get a staring contest that goes very slow paced to the decision should neither fighter finish each other in the first seven to nine minutes or because they are both counter fighters which could open up that previous option. Well, they are also both counter fighters that hit very hard which means the second option could be this fight ends probably in the first half. Santos, of course, has kind of evolved more into a counter fighter. He still throws his leg kicks, though not as many head kicks, not as many sporadic kicks, not as many sporadic blitzes. He'll kind of hang out on that outside fence line, looking to punish with hard hooks from either stance. And again, the leg kicks, which are going to be big against Ankalaev. Now, he lights up Ankalaev with those. We could see some wrestling, and we're back to option one, a slower paced fight. However, I like Ankalaev's counters, particularly from the southpaw position. A southpaw should never leave home without their check right hook. Uncle Liab doesn't leave home without his, and I think that shot in particular can get the job done, especially when you look at past performances against Santos where he's faced fighters who can competently counter in or outside of the UFC. Of course, for stats like Santos' southpaw statistics and path to his potential uh, victory here this Saturday, well, you're going to have to check out my in-depth breakdown where you can also find results this weekend at MMAJunkie.com.